Hello, my name is Nikolai Yusupov, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to pair your QCPR mannequins with either an iPad or uh, your phone. I'm going to use the phone here. And here we have a little any QCPR. Here we have little baby QCPR and little baby QCPR. And I'm going to show you how to essentially pair them with your devices so that you can get audiovisual feedback. If you look at the 2020 uh, testing skill sheets for AHA, so this is the uh, ACLS um, uh, high quality CPR component. You notice in this box, it says audiovisual feedback device is required for accuracy. And the reason it's no longer preferred is that you must be um, objectively able to monitor the student's uh, performance. That means that you can actually see them uh, compress at least two inches and perform continuous compressions for two minutes at a rate of 100 to 120 a minute. And the only way you could really tell that if you, if you actually have a feedback device that actually measures that. So it's important uh, for this. Also for your BLS um, um, checklist, you also have the same thing, right? CPR feedback devices are required. And again, this is to make sure the depth and rate is being performed uh, per the AHA guidelines. Now, if you look at the mega code testing skill sheets for your ACLS, uh, here the instructor has to essentially check off every single box here. Compression rate 100 to 120, feedback device, compression depth uh, equal or greater than two inches. And uh, here we have something as known as chest compression fraction or CCF. And this is the amount of time that um, the, the actual CPR is being conducted. Uh, these devices, the way they are set up now, they cannot act, show you the number for CCF. For you to calculate CCF using these devices, you basically need to have two stopwatches. And I'll make a separate video outlining how to get CCF, uh, employing two stopwatches. But the way these are set up with these apps, they will not show you the CCF. The only thing they, they will show you is your depth, and they will show you your rate and also your ability to provide ventilations. So <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is show you how would you essentially pair them. So the app that you're going to download in the App Store uh, is called uh, QCPR Training. Uh, before, they also had QCPR Learner for the students to pair for one mannequin, but they discontinued it. So the only app that you're going to employ right, right now is called QCPR trainer. And this will allow you to connect up to six mannequins uh, to this app. And you could monitor compressions only, CPR, or choking infant. At the bottom, you see the minutes. I usually put that in infinity. Uh, and now <clears throat> we're going to connect. How are you going to connect? For this device, for little any QCPR, you're just going to do a few compressions. Right? And I'm going to go into my screen and you see a little any, uh, right? It's showing me that it's available. Before I pair this device with the app, I want to make sure I turn on my little babies. And the way you turn these on, there is a button on the side here. All you're going to do is essentially press it down. It's going to turn on the mannequin. You see the blue light. You heard the noise. And the Wi-Fi is now on. And it appears here. And I'm also going to do the same thing for this one. You find the button on the side, press it. Right. It now has paired. And now I see all three of them uh, on my app. I just click all of them and now it's going to connect. So as I said, you could have up to six on one app. Once they are paired, uh, if you wanted to, you could change the name. So you could make this uh, into a different name. Right? And uh, you could label them by the numbers at the bottom here. Right? So this is uh, number five. Right? So we said, okay, five, and it displays right uh, for me. So you could number them, pair them. And place them in locations where you know uh, which the student is using. Per the AHA, uh, when you're doing a high quality BLS, you need uh, essentially three students to one mannequin. So three students for one mannequin and three students.
or one mannequin. That's your ratio for them. When you're doing this with the students, I uh, advise you to use an iPad. It's a bigger screen so they can see when they're practicing uh, their feedback. So once this is connected, I click OK. And then uh, I have infinity minutes, and I'm going to check CPR, so I click Start. You will see three screens pop up uh, showing all the mannequins. So now let's start with this mannequin here first. So let me show you when I'm doing CPR. So this tells me, right, how is my depth? So I'm not getting adequate recoil. Right now I'm, I am getting adequate recoil, but my rate is not 100 to 120 a minute. This has to be in the green. This has to be in the green, right? Notice if I put my hands in the wrong spot, this hand icon pops in only for little baby. It tells me that I am performing compressions in the wrong location. So you need to correct your students, right? Now, once it's green, the recoil, right, all the way up and down, and my rate is now good. And you also have an icon for uh, delivery of ventilation. So let's see if I can place it so you guys can see how it looks. So once I place my BVM and I extend the head, you see the breaths going in, it's measuring two breaths, three breaths, right, four breaths. This icon is lighting up every time the breath is delivered. So here you could monitor essentially your depth and your rate and your ventilations that are being delivered, right? I'm just gonna move on to this mannequin, right? Again, my hand is in the wrong location. Now it's in the right location. And if you want, the, the beauty of it, right, is that you could monitor both of them at the same time, right? So if you had a students performing this, you could basically have the screen out the way I have this now while they're performing this so they could see, right, and track their performance and you could give them corrections should they, you know, press deeper or their hand placement is wrong, right, to fix that. And whenever they're giving their ventilations, right, if the breaths don't go in the initial time, you could train them to reposition, right, and uh, ventilate. So th these are the little babies. Uh, for the little Annie, there's something else I want to show you. At the bottom here, you see this pull tab. So what is this for? So when this pull tab is pressed inside, you'll hear a click clicking sound. The reason you hear a clicking sound is it's feedback for the students that they get adequate depth. Uh, if you pull this out, right, you no longer hear that. So you could remove it and have them use audiovisual feedback, or you could have it engaged so they have that sound when you're practicing. And uh, this mannequin, certainly, right, uh, same like the little baby, will show you, right, ventilation as well. So if I have a BVM and I attach it right now so you can see. Right, so my breaths were delivered, and you see at the bottom, little Annie, right? And my breaths are going. So uh, the importance of use, using these devices during practice so that the students are familiar with them, they know what the instructors are looking for in terms of, in terms of depth, in terms of rate 100 to 120 and delivery of ventilation so whenever you are actually testing them utilizing the aha skill sheets right you can objectively measure them on, on all these parameters so uh, either connect it on your phone when you're testing them connect it to the ipad here right uh, so that the students can see it. it's a bigger screen so it's easier to follow. I would just uh, put it next to them whenever they're practicing. And you can walk around, right, observing it uh, in real time. But this is how you would connect and essentially utilize your uh, feedback devices.